Okay, well, I guess I painted everything. Uh, let's do some testing. So uh, I've just found a few trick, a few tricks you can do with the squid roll, um, and here they are. So squid roll, how to do it? Uh, first off, you have to swim in a direction, and then as you swim in that direction, you flick the stick in the other direction, and you jump at the same time. So it does this, right? It's like, you you're, might be asking yourself, oh, but then you're stuck to going in the opposite direction, right? But actually, no, you're not. So here's the, here's the trick. If you go in a straight line and do a squid roll, right? You, you ac actually, like, when you flick your stick in the other direction, you have a buffer window. So, like, during that time, you can still press jump and it'll do the squid roll. But during that time, you can also, like, move your stick in another direction to angle the squid roll, basically. As long as it's as, as you press jump quick enough, it's good. Um, and it so so like you could angle your jump, but only up to a 90 degree direction. So for example, if I do the squid roll input right, so I flick my stick behind, like, like I just did now. But instead of, of pressing jump right after I flick my stick, I first put my stick uh, in a 90 degree direction after the flick right. So like I go flick right and and then jump. So if I do it fast. Go, flick, right, jump, right? And then you can chain them up. So for example, let me show you. I go, flick, jump, flick, jump, and then flick, jump, right? You can angle corners like this, it's pretty cool. Uh, then there's a second trick which you can do. Uh, so in the, in the second game, or maybe the first game even, I don't know, uh, you had a trick which was, so like, see how I swim now? And I try to change directions, but see how it's slow to turn? What you could do instead is like, when you swim, you can pull out your grenade and then go back in the ink, right? And doing this, um, like the grenade actually allows you to walk, right? And, and walking allows you to shift your momentum really fast. So like, instead of of, be, of turning slowly like this, you can just up, 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 right? Um, so what if we pair this with squid rolling? So like you go forward, right? And then maybe you want to do a, a forward roll, right? But if you want to do a forward roll, we need to go back first. So how do you do this? Well, swimming forward. Well, you swim forward, you do a bomb, bomb strafe. I think it's called air strafing or something. Uh, so you strafe back and then you, you squid roll forward, right? So that's one way to do it, which I don't think it's the best. Because that means you, you, you're left vulnerable for a sec when you go here, then like, yeah, the squid roll is gonna is gonna get you from like here to there. But first, to initiate it from here, you gotta go a bit farther, right? Because you gotta do the squid strafe from a bit farther. So you're you're you don't have that much range uh, with this method. So let me show you again, like this, and then you do this, right? But the only like yeah, it's it's not ideal. Another technique, which I think is the best, and I think people are going to start to utilize in the game, is... Okay, so you know about the previous trick where, where you can, like, cut corners like this? Hold on, let me show you. Like this, right? It's like 90 degree angles. So let's apply this in a tricky way. Like, uh, let, let's, let's do some thinkering. So if I want to go and do a squid roll forward, right? What I could do is go from the side and do one like this, right? And so, I need to come from the side. And what I could do is just like go forward and then try to swim like slightly on to the side, right? Like turn slowly to the side. Then as I'm on the side, I flick on the other direction and then do a squid roll forward, right? Like math, angles and stuff. Simple ge geometry, right? So like you do it like this and then bam roll forward like sure it's not exactly a straight line you need to go a bit to the side but if you're trying to push someone basically if you're trying to make a push that's as best as you can get and like yeah to go to go to keep your momentum forward and get some bit of invincibility as you're attacking right that's the best you're gonna get um, and I don't see any maps where you would have a problem like getting slightly to an angle so yeah, this, this technique, I think, is gonna be used... Like, you're gonna see it a lot 
used by pros. I don't know if any anybody else has found it, posted it on YouTube or gave it a name. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess what what could we name them? We have like so this is a normal squid roll, the back roll, I guess. You have the um, the angle roll, or like the AR, I guess. Then you've got the I don't know. This one is the whatever. I don't have names. You guys find you guys come up with names in the comments, okay? But yeah, this technique. Honestly, I've been trying it out in the in the like I've been trying out the this one, the the last one, and honestly, it's pretty satisfying to pull off. And I mean, I wish I knew about it sooner during the Splatfest to try it out, but oh well. Anyways, uh, if you guys can like fire up the demo with an, another account, you know, and try out, try this out, lab this out, find some new things, go ahead and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, bye!